So in my experience in ACSL, these four operations are really the only ones that you need to know for the tests. So we're going to start off by defining each of these, and then in the next video, I'll go over an example problem. So we have car, which is the first one, and it takes the first thing in a list. So this first thing can be a single element, or it can even be a list of elements, or it can even be a list of lists if that question is really complicated. So it takes the first thing and the first thing only. So CDR takes uh, everything but the first. So I like to pronounce this cutter because I think of it cutting off the first one. So it takes everything but the first item in that list. And then reverse just reverses the list. So it reverses the elements of that list. So it can even reverse lists. So let's say we have a list of lists, and our first list has A, B, second one has C, D, and the third one has E, F. So it would look for the next smallest um, item in that list. So this would be the next smallest item. And it wouldn't be the individual letters themselves being reversed because these smaller lists would be the next smaller item. So then we'd have the list EF in front and then the list CD still in the middle and then AB. So that's how reverse works. And then set Q basically just defines um, something for a variable. So like I have in this equation, I mean in this question, we have set QX, so it's setting X to all of this. It's defining X to be this list of lists. And we're actually going to try to solve this problem in the next video.